Hi guys, so today's video is another coffee chats and it is episode 11, which is crazy to me. I didn't think I'd still be making these, but they do well. So um, I thought I would do one on A level results day as it's coming up tomorrow when this video is posted. So let's get into it. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you will know that I did my A-levels last year and I did post a results day video, which is up here if you would like to watch it. And I shared my experience, how I was feeling, my results, all that kind of stuff. Um, and as you may have seen, if you've watched the video, it didn't go to plan originally. So I got into my insurance instead of my firm and I decided to go through clearing to my firm choice, but on a different course, which, um, worked for me and I'm actually enjoying this course a lot more than my original course I think and um, yeah I thought I'd give you some tips for the actual day if you're nervous about it and yeah. so as I said this is about a level results day but if you have your GCSE results day coming up a couple of these tips are very general and can kind of apply to that as well so my first tip is actually to make sure you eat breakfast the day of getting your result because it's gonna be a long day potentially. You're gonna need to make some decisions whether it's what college or university to go to or if you got into college or university, you, you're gonna need the energy and the fuel for the day really. So tip number two is about knowing uh, the timeline and the deadlines for certain decisions and everything. So. You need to know when UCAS track opens, which I believe is 8.15, but bear with the system because everyone will be trying to look at their results and everything, so it might crash. And then know what time you have to go in to get your results and know what time you have to make a decision on what university you're going to or your clearing decision or uh, deferring for a year or for GCSE results say knowing when you have to bring up and tell them your results because that's what I had to do for sixth form at least. Tip number three is for those who don't have an unconditional offer and are worried about how their exams went and how their results will be so if that is you make sure you have backup options written down so if that's going through clearing if that's doing an apprenticeship if that's um, deferring for a year make sure you know like everything about that and you've researched into it a little bit so results day is actually less stressful so again for me I went through clearing I I think a couple of days before went through the courses and at like at different universities and well specifically at Royal Holloway as well um, and I wrote down the the ID number, no, the course number, sorry. And I knew my student ID, UCAS ID number, and I had the phone numbers written down. And so when I got my results and I realized I didn't get into Royal Holloway, I could very quickly phone up, ask them, is there a space on this course? Here are my results. And because I'd done that research, it made it run a lot smoother. So I definitely recommend doing that just in case because it's always good to be prepared. Tip number four is again, a general one for whatever results say that you will be attending this month, but try and get an early night the night before, which I know is easier said than done when you were stressed. I know I really struggled to get to sleep, but if you can, then it will be better to make the decisions the next day after being very well rested. Tip number five, is to think very thoroughly before you accept a decision because you might get your firm choice and actually decide throughout the day because you've got higher results oh i want to apply to a different uni or a, be a better uni or whatever better course and if you've accepted it immediately so you get the offer then it's a whole like stressful situation where you have to then phone up and you have to then 
be like I don't want to be on the course anymore and it's just better to explore all the options before you make any decisions because this is a big decision and it's better to know that you've looked at everything instead of just jumping the gun and going yeah okay I've got a, uh, an offer I'm just gonna accept it immediately adding on to that tip for clearing because when I did it last year um, you get your verbal offer over the phone and then I think they email you a little bit later on maybe like an hour or so after you've got your verbal offer and then at 3 p.m. you add your decision onto you cash track and you have until 7 p.m. to accept the offer I believe that's how it works but I don't know if the times are the same for this year so just research into that before you um like abide by those times because it might be different this year i think this is tip number five um it might be six i'm not sure um but if the course you're applying to on clearing is very different from your original course you might be asked why you want to study that course like you did on your personal statement so have like a few points to hand um just in case that does happen for me i applied to a similar course i just changed from psychology to sociology but i was still doing criminology so very similar ballpark and they didn't ask but if you say we're doing maths and then you decided to do a geography degree they're very different so they might ask you why do you want to do this course or whatever and so just be prepared for that and my last kind of like general like point is at the end of the day however results stay goes whether good or bad you did the best you could and you shouldn't be too hard on yourself because there are so many alternative options you can still go to uni you can either change course or go to a different uni or you can defer loads of different things you can do and you know make sure you're talking to people if it didn't go the way you wanted your mental health is very important uni isn't the be all and end all so you don't you don't have to feel pressured to go there may be another way to get into your desired career for example so before I end this video, I just want to say good luck to anyone getting their results tomorrow for the A-levels. Um, I didn't include IB in this because I didn't do IB and I think they've already had their results day. I don't know, but hope everything went well for you or will go well for you. And for GCSE people, I think yours is the 20-something of August. So good luck to you as well if you're watching this video. Um, and yeah, if you have enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, any video suggestions, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!